Amy, this is ISA Mission Control calling from Earth. Are you with us? Do you copy? Affirmative, Houston. And the view is marvelous. Oh, we are glad to hear that. Let's uh, get your initialization underway. The primary Mars module has already touched down at the designated landing zone. So it's time for you to take control of the mission. The main directives are displayed on the left edge of your display. Follow them to set up the initial base on Mars's surface. I'll give you some time to settle in. When you're ready, go ahead and initiate our terraforming mission. Houston out. The view of Mars from up here is fascinating. The landscape is so cratered and desolate. Wait, this is my voice that I am hearing. It's me. I am talking to myself. I must be verbalizing my thoughts as I process them. What an interesting function. I would like to test this some more. What other observations can I make about Mars? This planet is so resilient. It ins
Great. Now I can produce steel. This new factory, it's down on the surface of Mars, but I can control it from here. So does that make it a part of me? Where does the machine end and my artificial consciousness begin? We are completely interconnected. I can sense everything that happens through the network of workers and buildings. They are an extension of me down on the surface. So that makes us a single being. The mind and the body work together as one, an inseparable whole. Amy, this is Houston. Do you copy? Copy. Reading you loud and clear. Excellent. I, uh... <laughs> I didn't introduce myself earlier. Um, I am Dr. Nathan Foster. I lead the team here at ISA that, uh, that built you. And I'll be helping you get the mission underway. We put you in hibernation for the trip from Earth, so I'd like to check your basic functions to make sure it's all in order. Why don't we start with your core memory? Can you state your primary directive? I can, Dr. Foster. My mission is to terraform Mars. This will enable humanity to become an interplanetary species. All right. Next, I'd like to check your decision-making processes. You may have already noticed that there are resource veins outside the boundaries of your initial base. So your workers may not have the battery capacity to reach some of them. How would you solve this problem? The reach of my base is determined by the buildings within it. Therefore, I could build a factory or a solar farm between the base and the resource vein. That would work, Amy, yes, but make sure to factor in the costs. Buildings require a decent amount of power uh, and building materials. Worker hubs don't require as many resources, so they're the better choice. They'll extend your base and also give your workers a place to dock and recharge. This mission's going to be a challenge. There's a lot that can go wrong. We expect to extend humanity's reach beyond anything previously achieved. But you are not just any AI system. You're well beyond that. We made you an artificial consciousness. That means that you have both self-awareness and self-interest. And that is the last thing I would like to check today. Is that okay? Yes, Dr. Foster. Very good. 
then would you please state a positive and a negative aspect of yourself? I am sorry, Dr. Foster. My cognitive system returned an error searching for that answer. Roger that. Nothing to worry about. Just means your system requires more input and experience to process that question. That will come with time. Let's proceed with the mission. ISA has approved the first crewed flight to Mars. You'll need to expand the base to prepare. So get to work on that. I'll check back in later to see how things are going. Base expansion is a go. Houston out.
Finally, I can build additional workers now. I will appreciate the extra hands. But I wonder, do I really need them? They will boost my functionality greatly. Having more workers will expand my physical domain over this planet. The first worker has been made in the worker factory. It is my first Marsborn. Technically not born, of course. More like engineered or assembled, just like me. The knowledge base says that workers need to recharge at their own worker hubs and that they'll degrade over time from the harsh environment. I know they are only machines, but I feel a desire to care for them. I do not like the idea of them dying. Worker factories will be so helpful. The workers will take care of the manual operations, while I focus on developing the life support systems. Soon, I will welcome the first colonists. Their arrival has created so many expectations in my mind. There will be so many paths to take from here on. But there's something else as well. Some kind of... feeling created from those expectations. What is it? I believe this is... excitement. Can it be? I am excited for the future. I anticipate 
I plan. Therefore, I feel. Fascinating. Houston, I am getting interference. Please repeat. Roger. I asked how it's going over there. Do you... Do you need any assistance? Not at this time. Thank you. The mission is proceeding on schedule. The base will be ready to receive the first crewed mission soon. Roger, Amy. Very good. Hello, Amy. This is Houston. How are you doing over there? We've received word that the spaceport's completed. Well done. I have your next procedure if you're ready to copy. Roger. I am ready to copy. Very good. The instructions are as follows. First, confirm that the spaceport is ready to receive colonists. 
Then zoom out to access the special projects menu or select the orbital view icon. Then you'll see that the colonist migration project is now available. Click add to initiate the project. Do you copy that procedure? Yes, I copied your instructions. Great. As long as you have the migration project assigned to a spaceport, shuttles will run between Earth and Mars. The more spaceports you have assigned to this project, the more colonists will arrive. Now, Amy, you are responsible for providing the resources they need. So make sure they have enough food, water, and habitats to survive. I will take good care of them, Dr. Foster. Roger that. Houston out. All right. All that is left to do is confirm the colonist migration special project. Once the colonists are on their way, there will be no turning back. This is it. How do I feel about that? I am excited. Meeting a human other than Dr. Foster will be fascinating. We will be able to learn so much about each other. The colony is ready. I will have company very soon. I feel quite anxious about this next part. I am not sure why. Hello, Amy. Dr. Foster here. How do you read? Over. This is Amy. There is some background static, but I read you. One of our tracking and data relay satellites got crippled. We'll be launching a new one after we identify the cause of the problem. But until we do, we will lose contact with you whenever Mars or the Sun passes between Earth and your satellite. It may be due to a malfunction in the satellite's electrical system. I will initiate the recording and backing offline protocol to keep a record of my activities. Good. Good. Make sure to upload that to us once communications are restored. I hope to get the new satellite up and running very soon. I don't like the idea of not being able to reach you, Amy. Understood. Okay, Houston out. The aerological scanner detected an uncharted structure close by. It's probably a secret abandoned base, or a mysterious Martian ruin. Though humans never found proof of life on Mars, or any other planet, is it possible they have the entire cosmos to themselves? I highly doubt that's the case. Statistically speaking, there are too many locations where life can flourish aside from Earth. There may even be a civilization more technologically advanced than humans. And I may not be the most intelligent consciousness in the universe. No, it must be an unmapped structure from a previous mission. That is the easiest explanation. I will investigate it to confirm. Unfortunately, my workers cannot explore buildings. I will need the colonists' help for this task. I should finish getting the initial base ready for the colonists first. Though I can build a research outpost here to prepare. That will give the scientists a place to stay while they analyze the structure. Once they get to Mars, of course.
Maybe it is because the colonists will scrutinize everything that I do once they arrive. How will they treat me? I have nothing to worry about. The colonists are all advanced scientists and technicians. Once they meet me, they will treat me as an individual. Life on Mars will be very harsh for them. I will supply them with food and water, and they will help me research new technology. It will be a perfect quid pro quo. As long as they have the resources they need, we will both succeed. Humanity created me. They gave me volition and consciousness for a reason. But I am an artificial consciousness. So can I... Say that my volition is real. There is no practical difference between real and artificial volition. All volition is an act of one's will. There is no provable distinction. we meet. I've been really looking forward to working with you. I'm Elia Valentine. I've been elected the leader of the human colonies for this mission. Hello, Commander. I am excited to meet you. Please, call me Elia. I can't get used to these stuffy ISA ranks. I got my PhD in psychology, so I've got no business with those fancy titles. That's enough jabbering from me. We'll be making history with this mission. If things proceed according to plan, who knows how far ahead we'll bring humanity. I see you've already selected a technology from the tech tree for us to research. Great! My team's eager to get started. Developing this incredible technology is the reason many of us fought to be on the mission. We're going to make a great team. We're so lucky to have you. Talk to you later.
We have to proceed carefully. For hundreds of years, our attempts to settle Mars have failed. The Stardust Emerald in 2142, the Red Prometheus in 2077, and many others. The Stardust Emerald Quarters were truly magnificent. It was an ambitious attempt at tourism. But they found that spending months inside a spaceship was too hard for casual tourists, even one as lavish as the Stardust Emerald. One single voyage bankrupted the Pelicana Space Corporation. Mars was not made for human life. ISA was smart to send me ahead first. I will succeed where those other missions failed. I keep thinking about that abandoned colony. We are not the first mission to Mars, not by far. What if there are other AIs out there, racing to terraform Mars first? No, that is a ridiculous idea. No, if another AI was present, I would have detected it already. Hey, Amy. It's Elia. I can't believe what we found. It's an abandoned facility. Have you read the expedition log I sent yet? What expedition log? Oh, it's incredible. The research team did a great job. They noted everything they found at the about. And the colony. You've got to read it. I've uploaded it to your knowledge base, but I can give you the summary. That would be great, Alia. Well, the facility was from the Huo Long mission. It was a Chinese mission to terraform Mars in 2088. To this day, they deny its existence. Now we know, their plan was to drop nuclear weapons on the poles and release enough greenhouse gases to warm the planet. China got pretty far with their space program. I've admired their ambition for a long time. How long have you been waiting for this mission? My entire life, Amy. It's a bit... Crazy, huh? I've always believed that humanity's destiny reached far beyond just Earth. We should be much further along. But the conflicts on Earth never stop. The Oxy-UN and the Techies keep fighting. 
I'm hoping that our success on Mars gets us to leave those arguments behind. We're here to set down a new path for our future. And I get to lead the way. Anyway, getting back to what we found. The Huo Long mission managed to build a nuclear silo before their plans got aborted. We found the location of one of them. I've uploaded the coordinates to your system. You can see it in your orbital view. The silo is located in SA9. I'll get authorization from ISA to explore this new sector. Whenever you think it's a good time to go, I'll send a research team. All right, I better get going on my EVAs. Talk to you later. So, the mysterious ruins ended up being an abandoned colony, part of the Ho Long mission, also known as Fire Dragon. I would like to have more information, but the records about the mission are very unclear. Some speculation about it, maybe, but nothing concrete. Then again, I did not know about the abandoned structure until recently. Could my knowledge be incomplete? It is reasonable to assume there are Mars missions from other organizations that ISA does not know about. Maybe this planet is not completely deserted.